On a different note, in Malaysia, early in the morning on May 7th, a flood occurred in Batang Kali, north of Kuala Lumpur, after the river flooded due to non-stop heavy downpour the night before. The low-lying areas around the river were almost instantly submerged. As local residents were sound asleep when the flood struck, most of them fled their homes without taking along any valuables or belongings. Now, Two days later, city volunteers from Kuala Lumpur arrived at the inundated village and completed a thorough disaster survey in the distribution of emergency cash and blankets, all within just a few hours. The serene Batang Kali River in northern Kuala Lumpur surprised everyone when it flooded on May 7th. The gushing waters inundated houses by the shores. My mother woke me up at 5 a.m. and told me there was a flood. The torrents were so strong I could hear walls falling over. I climbed onto the roof and made a hole in it so I could lift my mother, wife, sister and children to safety. The disaster struck so suddenly that escaping villagers had no time to grab their belongings. After they were informed of the disaster on May 9th, city volunteers immediately carried out a disaster survey. When we got news of the flood, we were pretty worried because all of our volunteers had been quite caught up with the preparation work for the Buddha Day ceremony. Nevertheless, many still came forth to help at such a short notice. I'm so thankful to them. Setting aside their work, 50 city volunteers visited more than 70 flood-affected families within just two hours. Later at noon, volunteers also distributed some 7,300 U.S. dollars and 145 blankets to survivors. I felt so relieved when I saw the volunteers dressed in blue tops arriving at our village. I really believed that they could help us. I had no doubt about that. In the morning, I was surprised to see a group of people dressed in uniform. This was the first time people actually cared about those of us living in the low-lying areas. Whether they are Chinese or Malay, I just know that they bring with them the love from Taiwan. The timely assistance has illustrated for the villagers how true love transcends national and ethnic boundaries. In return, they give what little money they can to help others in a demonstration of a truly generous spirit.